Hey guys, Insomnia here with some more AFK Arena. Today we're back with the Graveborn team. We're going to go ahead and use all of our rare cards. We got those out of the Graveborn Tower. As we've continued our progression, we'll go ahead and use our Elite Soul Stones. Hopefully we can pull a Graveborn, which we do, a copy of Shamira. This account, we've been using her as fodder. Um, just because you get a lot of copies of her. We have not built her. We went with Isabella instead. So looking at the Ascensions, even the summons we did earlier, there's another Elite Plus Shimira. We got an Eron, a couple more Elites there, and then we'll go ahead, we'll check out our wish list. Uh, look at the summons. We're trying to get some copies of Oden. That's exactly who we're looking for. I would love to build him. I'd love to see him. So wish list looks good. We'll go ahead and we'll get into our summons. And right off the bat, we do pull an Elite, who is Copy of Rose. It seems like Rose and Rosaline I've been seeing a lot of copies of lately, which is good. I'd love them on the Light Bear account. Um, this account, though, great for the Faction Tower because two heroes that definitely carry the tower. So as we continue our summons here, we have another Elite there who is Titus. He's a hero on the Mauler account. I'm going to build eventually after Kasos. Um, haven't heard the best things about him, but using him in lower level um, Faction Tower seems to work pretty well, especially when he's in the back line behind Scrag, I've noticed. And we have another Elite there. Hopefully we can get a copy of Falks. I'm, I'm really hoping we can pull some Graveborns here. It would kind of be ideal since we're on the Graveborn account. We do get one card there, quite a few emblems. Let's see who we can get. Hoping it's a copy of Isabella, and we get... Kalthar, through this 21, 20, going on 22 chapters, we have never pulled him, so we just finally unlocked him. One more summon here, and nothing on that one. I believe we are at to the point where we've gotten um, Stargazer cards, so I'm going to use these for Oden if we're getting them. Unfortunately, right now, as you can see, he is not available to Stargaze. The only Stargaze faction account that I've ever done is the Lightbearer account. So if we do have a chance to get Oden, um, we can go ahead and pull a copy of him because first Stargazer pull is guaranteed from what I've always heard, what I've been told. It's tried and tested. Um, every time that I've done it on the faction accounts, I have gotten them. Another elite here. Oh, it went to the mailbox. We must have a lot of fodder here, which we do. So a couple more Graveborns there, a couple of Elite Plus, definitely some more Elites there, and again, some more Elite Plus across all the faction accounts. We got a copy of Angelo, of course. Seems like more, more fodder than I get of any other hero is him. All right, so looking here, we have Isabella we have another copy of. It looks like Thorin we have another copy of. So let's go ahead and add our fourth star to Isabella. Two more copies, and she will be completely done. Thorin goes ahead and picks up his second star, so he is getting there as well. Um, it looks like here we do have enough fodder using uh, Naru. So we'll go ahead and we'll use one of our copies of Shamira and Silvana. So we'll get him up to Legendary. Use the other copy to get him Legendary Plus. And that will be our food for Nara. So Nara will go ahead and use the food to get her to Mythic Plus raising her stats by 20%, so absolutely phenomenal. Double copies, getting her to Ascended, putting her stats up by another 20%, so absolutely huge. There is our five-star Ascended Graveborn team. Finally, I think at this point, all the accounts do have the five, or have um, full Ascended heroes. So let's go ahead and look at what we can level up. Pharrell, finally, signature item, plus 30. Um, Attack is reduced by 3% and healing by 10%, which is so, so powerful throughout the entire game. He is a hero you will use the entire game. So plus 30 signature item. Look at his gear too. We'll go ahead and strengthen his helmet. We just need his weapon, a uh, Graveborn weapon, and he'll have all of his gear, similar to Belinda on the Lightbearer account. We're going to continue focusing our plus 20, our red chest, on... Isabella at this point, trying to get her to plus 30. So I'm not even sure through this event how many we've gotten. There's 22, 23, a chap, there's 24, and 25. So all the way to 25. And that gave her haste, which is super, super powerful. So plus 25 signature item. We'll go ahead and try to reset her hat. Hopefully, fingers crossed, Graveborn, 
which we got it. Look at that. Very nice. Her set is getting there as well. Um, we'll go ahead and strengthen it. So we'll have a T1 hat putting her attack up by 900 there and a lot more defense. Her the same. We need one more item to go ahead and get her set. We're also focusing on Bloodshed. Nara's signature item here, which I believe we do have enough to get it to plus 20 as well. So super, super powerful. That gives us four signature items at plus 20 already or higher. We have a plus 30, we have a plus 25, and two plus 20s. So the next one, the only one that needs gold emblems at this point is Thorin, which he's only at plus 10. So he will be the next one using all of our gold emblems, moving on to plus 20. So very, very cool to see the progression that we are making with this count. So there we go, no strengthen. So she is at plus 25. Gear is looking great. So Pharrell, he is at plus 30. Again, a lot of T1 gear there. So we've been getting lucky with the Greyborn. Grez is at plus 20. Again, rocking some Greyborn gear. Thorin does have the, the armor, but only plus 11 and plus 20 for Nara, plus the weapon. So we are ready for the campaign with this team. I'm super excited to see how well the Graveborn team does. So we're on 22-58 here. So as we're pushing, we, we only have one team that is out of Chapter 22, and that is the Lightbearers. Everybody else is still in Chapter 22. Um, Lightbearers are in 23, so hopefully the Graveborn will be the next team into Chapter 23. And again, Brutus is so absolutely devastating in the campaign. Looks like we should probably get this down as long as we can wait out his shield. But just absolutely devastating for teams. If, if there's not a CC on him early to take down the rest of the team. And here is Brutus again. We're going to go ahead and use Nara for the Spider Queen. We do get a bleed on her. And look how much damage Nara does. So just using her there with the bleed completely took out the hero just like we wanted to. Nara goes ahead and snatches Golis, does a stun on him as well. And again, another stun, and there is the kill. Look at that. Let's look at the damage on that one. So we got Nara at a million, 2.3, almost a million from Pharrell, 1.2 from Thorin. He can definitely cheese in 22-60. This is a very, very difficult team comp. They have CC, they have a lot of damage with Thane and Athalia combo, and a lot of dodge. So I'm hoping I can take Arden down pretty quick in the bottom. Is what I'm hoping. It looks like Nara is just working him down, and there we go, the kill shot from her. Grab Athalia, very, very easy, very nice. All right, so that will conclude Chapter 22. We're looking at 4 million damage from Isabella. Wow. Just absolutely devastating the damage unfortunately this team as well i did not have enough hero essence i was 2k shy um 2000 hero essence shy of getting a hero to a uh, level 240 but we are going to get isabella up when we do get our last 2000 essence which will be probably in a day or two so here continuing the fight grabbing sylvana with um nara she's the hero we want to take down really quick with the help of isabella there we get her down Grab Nemisu, and we will continue to impale. And Veden at the stage, very, very tough. But again, Nara finishes it off with the kill. Very cool team comp. I, I like the synergy of it. Um, Thorin and Graz work very well together, especially once he gets up adds. Nara, I always put, which Nara, I probably should have put on Arden there. Um, but I did put him on Tassie. Tassie teleported away. She, he, she brings right back grabs Thane there and might have been a bad move because Thane's just going to kill him uh, let's see if we can get Thane down well Thane does have to kill him twice oh but we feared when he ulted I think he's going to get us down yep so that'll be our first defeat we'll go ahead I think I'm going to swap up Nara here um, have Nara grab Arden just because I don't want the roots on everybody so go ahead bring him over hopefully we can pull him down which Tassie's on Nara and Arden's on Nara, but we got the kill. Look at that. Grab Lucius at that point. And then, like I said, this is a tough team comp because a lot of their abilities, um, teleporting around, moving around, a lot of CC, a lot of dodge. 
We should be able to get Tassie down at this point. Oh, but Grez got banished. He still got adds up though. Timer's still good. A fear and we got it. Very, very nice. So that brings us to 23-3. So like I said, already into chapter 23, we'll go ahead and we'll grab Pharrell with Nara here and the dot goes on him. Should take him down really fast, which we do. We get him right through the shield. And that's exactly what you want to do with Nara is a, a high priority target, a healer, um, a heavy CCer, always, always the first hero you want to use the impale on. Because um, a lot of times when she does the appeal with the bleed and the stun, when it gets to our side, you'll see Pharrell will fear the target. So even here, we're going to swap the bottom till Silvana. Silvana goes on Isabella. Nara brings her right back with the stun. She's got the bleed on her right there, even though she gets the shield from Grez. There's the fear from Pharrell. And there's the finishing move through the shield. Didn't get the kill, though. But still did a ton of damage. Just such a, a very, very cool hero. Love how they built her with her skills and her impale ability. It's very cool to see. So that's 23-4. Uh, 3 million there, 2 million from Pharrell, a million from Thorin, and a million from Nara. 800,000 from Grez. As you can see, the team, a lot of it is evenly dispersed, which is good. I'm here with Nara. We'll grab... Uh, Laika, there she gets a fear, and Laika is down that easy. So now we go to Hogan, get some minions up on him. So now he's not attacking um, Nara because he actually went back on the minions, and look how fast that kill was. Three impales and a finishing move brings us to 23-6. Again, we're going to grab Laika. I always try to see where Thorin's dot goes because that makes a really, really big difference with who you can kill first, depending on where the dot goes initially. And Pharrell's spirits do a lot of damage and a lot of energy reduction, which is exactly why we love using Pharrell. All right, so that brings us to 23-7, which again, we'll swap Nara to the middle, take out Angelo. Hopefully we get a good stun on him. Which we do is about half dead. He just got a, some spirits from Pharrell as well as a fear. Got him down, so we grab Thorin. Now, when Nara grabs Thorin, usually doesn't work out for the best. And Thorin just wiped out almost half of our team there. And, of course, we got to kill him again. But look at the damage that Isabella does. She casts so fast and does so much damage. It's crazy. 23-8. So again, we'll swap. I think I'm going to keep Nara here because I don't want to get the confinability with Falks. And he got the dot, so we should be able to kill him before we do much damage, which we do. Which Nara grabs Cirrus. Maybe not the best choice as a tank, but look at the dodge on there. Got some spirits up on him. Got a kill shot. I'm not even sure who he grabbed at that point to kill. Looks like Sylvana's still up. Looks like Rain is still up. Cirrus is still up. Attempted the finishing there and didn't get the kill either. But with just rain left, we got it. All right, let's check the damage on that one. 2.8, 2 million from Nara. Isabella went down really, really quick, but that's okay. Rest of the Graveborn team was able to get it done. Bring us to 23-9. So again, we grab Laika here, which took a ton of damage. Probably should have grabbed Nomura, but we might still be able to get this one down. Pharrell's got the spirits up on everyone, and we do. Between Lyca and Nomura, it's kind of a tough call on who you're going to get down. And again, another stage with Arden. Always choose Arden. Um, when he puts roots on three heroes, just devastating for the team. And the team went down really, really fast. Even though she got the kill... Thorn's powering up. Our first defeat. All right, so 23-10. Um, I think we'll go ahead and swap the tanks, maybe put Thorn in the bottom. See if he takes a little less damage here. 
which Thorin has just taken a ton of damage in the bottom. But again, both the tanks go down. But there's the kill shot from Nara. Hopefully we can take out Cirrus on top, which it looks like we might be able to get him down. Kasos, this might be might be another stalemate at this point. Where if we can get Sears down, which we do, Kasos's life leech ability, especially tuned as high as it is, um, he can't kill Grez because of his his healing, and we can't kill him because of his life leech. As you can see, the amount of damage and the how fast he attacks. So that's we're gonna run out of time on that one. So that is our second defeat. This is our final one. If we don't defeat the stage this time. Um, that'll be it for the Greyborn team, which Nara went down super quick. Isabella did too, with k Sauce's throwing axes there. So this is our third and final defeat. So we made it all the way to 23-10. Second team to be into Chapter 23. We'll collect up our loot, which we get another copy of Thorin. Let me know in the comments what you think, who I should build next for the Greyborn team. We have our five fully ascended heroes, which is super awesome. Excited to see and the signature items. And as always, thank you for watching.